Tonight, a Detroit family says they are still traumatized after DPD officers mistakenly raided their home three years ago. Police say they were searching for a suspect in the killing of veteran officer Rasheen McLean. Detroit Now's Ray Strickland has more as the family's lawsuit is stalled in court. Yes, we have two hours now. November 19th, 2019, a scary night. This neighborhood on Detroit's west side will never forget. The shooting death of Corporal Rasheen McLean. But during the search for this man, McLean's killer, Jawan Parks, it impacted our lives forever. It's what makes this night even scarier for the Wright family. You couldn't believe how many officers are Hands! Hands! Body camera video hey, from that night shows up. when officers first showed up to the area of Wyoming near Chippewa. Who else is in the house? Attorney Michael Fortner claims officers mistakenly raided their home while putting in, at the time, 70 year old Lisa Wright and her grandson, John. Joshua in handcuffs. To me, they were horrible. Horrible. Now 73, Lisa is dealing with health problems related to a stroke she suffered the night of the shooting. Joshua also had hip surgery due to what they consider was excessive force by Detroit police officers. The city of Detroit Police Department wrongfully broke her spirit. Their lawsuit against DPD is now going on three years without any resolution and still no apology or even an explanation from the department on why the rights were singled out. We tried to get DPD side in a response to the accusations, but a spokesperson for the department declined to comment. Meanwhile, the family continues to be haunted by what happened and is hoping the department will be held accountable. By the grace of God, I'm still alive. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Ray Strickland.